Hi guys, it's me, and I really quickly wanted to do a haul video. You saw my day in the life videos for last Saturday. Sorry, there's something on my bed. Um, for last Saturday and Sunday, we did some shopping. There was some huge sales going on, and we just wanted to take advantage of them because usually every year towards the end of the season, we'll get like the kids' clothes or shoes for next year. So that's what we did. On Saturday we went to Kohl's and I used the rest of my Kohl's gift card and we had a coupon and stuff and I picked up a few things. I picked up the uh, the Bomb Mary Luminizer. It's just a highlighter. It's really pretty. That's what it looks like. I don't know. It's a pretty color. I used it today. I don't know. You can't see because of the lighting. It's pretty. It's very, very strong. Like, it's a very, very pigmented highlighter, but it's pretty. I also picked up a blush, Hot Mama, and this is, I guess it's supposed to be kind of a dupe for orgasm, NARS orgasm. I don't know. I've never tried NARS, NARS orgasm, but it's very pretty. I also got this to use as an eyeshadow. It's just a very peachy corally pink with gold undertones. It's very highlighting like you shouldn't use a highlighter with it but I did just because for fun and it was like like in daylight I'm very 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 shiny and sparkly which I don't know if I'm a huge fan of but um, I also got this En Root hairspray. It is just a little free travel size one that I got for spending over $24 on the bomb products. Two other things I got from Kohl's were um, this hoodie. It's just like a zip up gray hoodie. I just really liked it. It's like a fleece inside. I'm like so tacky. I'm like, look at this. I've already worn it. It's just a zip up hoodie. I'm very boring. And then I also picked up this striped zip up sweater, which is actually, I think it's meant for older women. It's by Croft and Barrow, but it's very comfortable. So I'm going to wear it as like a house coat because I love it. We also went to Target that day, but I'm not going to show you all that stuff I showed you in my day in the life video so you can go there to watch it because it was just like toothbrushes and stuff like that and like two v-neck t-shirts. Then on Sunday we went to REI because that's the place that we usually go because they have a lot of good end of the season sales. They didn't have any coats on sale um, that were fit our kids but they did have a lot of shoes. So these are wet because we just got home and white wore them already. These are in a size 10. They are so cute and they match his coat. They are Asics Gel Comfort Tennis Shoes, and they were originally $50, and we got them for $24.99. I love them. He loves them, and they just, they're Velcro. Ah! I just got stuff on my bed. They're Velcro with, like, stretchy shoelaces, so I thought those were cool. And Asics brands usually tend to hold up really well. For Kayo, John got her this hat. He was like, it's too cute. I can't not get it for her. This is by Patagonia, I think. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. This isn't a Patagonia. This is by Everest Designs, I guess. Um, it was originally $32. John got it for $21.93. I really think he just got it because he thought it was adorable on her. Um, it's lined with like a fleece inside and this will fit her next year as well. Another thing that we got for Kaya, which these things are just adorable. Um, they're called Baby Bogs. Bogs makes all sorts of, like, for adults and, you know, children and babies. But we really wanted to get her rain boot. I think for kids it's important for them to have rain boots because they can put them on themselves and it protects their feet from getting soaked because I don't know a child alive who will not see a puddle and not jump in it. So, or sorry, who will see a puddle and not jump in it. Uh, so what we did was these are so cute. They're called bogs. They're made out of like a neoprene type of uh, material. So they're like one of the, like scuba gear type of material and the inside has like a fuzzy like soft lining. Uh, so what we did was we got two pairs. We got one in a size 5 and one is in a size 4. So the size 4 fits her now and the size 5 will be for later. Uh, they were originally $34.99 and we got them for $23.83. So that's why we bought two pairs because we thought that that would work well. And because they're lined, they're really warm. So I think that she can wear them for the rest of the winter. And she looks so cute walking in them. If you saw her day in the life video, she just like, she loves them. For Ava, this was like the biggest steal of the day. So like I said, I like getting all my kids rain boots. They are pricey though, like especially once you get older. I have a pair of rain boots that I love and Wyatt's got rain boots, um, and now Kai has them, so we wanted to find some for Ava. Um, they're by Western Chief Kids, and they come in this cute little box. So what we did was, she's in a size 4 right now, so we got her a size 4 of these galoshes. 
Aren't those cute? I love them. They're just nice and just like, you know, utilitarian, but kind of girly at the same time. These are in a size four. We got her a size four and a size five, so she'll have some for next season because they were originally $30 and we got them for $11.83. So we spent $22 or $24 or whatever and got two pairs of those, so I'm super excited. Can I also mention that my nine-year-old daughter will be in a size five shoe next year and I wear size six? Awesome. <laughs> She's gonna start stealing my clothes. That's what's gonna happen. After REI, we went to Briarwood Mall and we picked up just some stuff. Uh, some of the things that we picked up that I'm not gonna show you because they're John's things. Well, one of them's my our thing, shared thing. We got a new Apple router. It's like the ultimate Apple router. I have no clue. I don't, I don't pay attention. As long as my Wi-Fi works, I don't care. Um, our router's been kind of going in and out, which has made it difficult for me to work online. Um, get my blog posts up, my videos, stuff like that. We got a new router. This one should be able to handle all of our Apple Mac products better. So hopefully I'll be able to vlog more. So we got that. And then John also got himself the newest iPad mini. He has the original, like, I think it's like the iPad, like the third version, like the big one. And so it was time for him to get a new one because he really wanted one and he's been working really hard. So he bought it for himself. So he got an iPad mini today. Uh, for me, I'm really excited. I went to Lush for the first time ever and I'm really excited. I picked up a few things because they're super expensive. I didn't realize how expensive the products were, but they're super expensive. So I've been really freaking out because I'm getting quite a few wrinkles around my eyes um, and my nose. So what I asked for was some preventative stuff and some moisturizing stuff. We've had a really dry winter and so I'm having dry patches everywhere and it's making it that my makeup is not setting very well. And so what I got was the Sacred Truth Fresh Face Mask, which is supposed to I guess, stay in the refrigerator because it, um, it's made out of like all fruit and stuff. So I'm supposed to use this by February 14th, I'll, whatever, I don't know. Oh, I mean, you're supposed to use this by February 25th because it does expire. So I'm gonna keep this in the fridge. But basically it's supposed to help like preventative aging, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna try that. And then I also got this Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub that I'm gonna use on my face. It's just hard to open. Um, it looks like that, if you're not familiar, the lighting's bad in here. It smells interesting. It's got salt, sea salt in it and all this other stuff. It's vodka infused and it's supposed to help make my face softer. And then the lady also gave me this stuff. It's like, I forget what she called this. It's some type of something serum, but it's in like this bar. And I guess I'm supposed to put it like underneath my eyes or on my face and stuff before I put my moisturizer or like other anti-aging creams or my face mask on because it's supposed to like amplify, like it's supposed to amplify what they do. I guess. So this stuff is not cheap. The face mask, this little thing was $7. That one wasn't too bad. This stuff, however, the ocean salt, this is the small container. This was 20 something dollars. For the large container, it was gonna be 30 something. So I got the small container and then I, she gave me this little thing for free. So there you go. So I'm excited to try those things and hopefully it'll make a difference. But yes, yeah, so I went to Lush for the first time. After that, we went to World Market. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to find my, I wanted to find ketchup chips. I wanted to. They didn't have ketchup chips. They didn't have dill chips. But what they did have was some of the chalk, kind of chocolate that um, Megan sent me from Budapest. And I'm so excited because I loved it and I didn't think I'd be able to find it anywhere. And World Market's not close to our house, but you know, I was able to pick up some of the same stuff that she had sent me. So these are things that she sent me, but I really wanted to try them. Sorry, Kaya is playing with the, my iPad. Okay. Um, I really wanted to try them. These are called Belgian chocolate thins. And so I got them in hazelnut and I got them in almond. So they're just like little chocolate <laughs> chips, literally like chips, like in the shape or chocolate in the shape of potato chips. And they have like little chunks of those nuts in them. So I thought those looked really good. Um, these Kinder Hippos, I saw that Lisa got a box of these and I really want to try them. So I got those. This is Milka. This is the kind of brand of chocolate she sent me and I love it. So I picked up some of that. I picked up some Toffee Fay because Maria from Canada sent me some and I wanted it more because I'd eaten all of my other stuff. And then I picked up these Kinder chocolates because Wyatt actually ate half of them and I didn't get that many of them and it made me sad so I picked up more of those. So that's all I got from World Market. 
food wise because they didn't have the cho the ketchup chips, which made me sad. But I also got distracted while I was there, and I got two pairs of earrings. I thought these were really cute for the spring. I just thought they were adorable. They were really nice and dainty. And then I also picked up these because they were really just cute and dainty too. They're just like little studs. So I picked those up. They were $5 a piece. I thought that was a great deal for earrings. They're probably not sterling silver, so I probably can't wear them for a long time. But they were cute anyways. And then I think that's pretty... Oh, no. And then we went to CVS on the way home because there were some things that I wanted to try. Of course, the CVS didn't have any of the things that I was looking for, but oh well. I picked up some of these little rubber band thingies for Kaya's pigtails, because the only things that stay in her hair, um, and I like to use them at the ends of my braids and stuff like that. And then I picked up a butt load of nail polish. I have actually started to use drugstore nail polish a lot more than I've been using my SE and my OPI, just because it's cheaper, and because I think a lot of the brands have really good quality nail polish. So CVS was having like a buy one, get one half off, so I bought a few just to try. So I picked up this Revlon color. It's really pretty. It's like a really, it's more orange than it is pink, but it's like a corally orange, if that makes sense. I picked up this as well. This is by Wet n Wild. I thought this was pretty. It's kind of the same, but it's more pink. Like I know it looks the same as lighting, but this one's a little bit more pink um, instead of the orangish one. Then I also picked up this Wet n Wild one, and this is really pretty. It's just like a nude color. And then I also picked up this one. The Wet n Wild ones were buy one get one half off, so they were $1.50 for two. This is just a plain pink. And then these, this is a new brand that I never tried. The Rimmel uh, London Nail Polish. I've never tried them. These are the Kate Edition ones. And I got one in like this blue, and then one in this kind of like bare, naked, pinkish color. And then this one's like an orangey sorbet color. So I'm excited to try all of those out. They were just like really affordable, so I bought those. And yeah, um... That's pretty much it. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit scattered because Kai is kind of walking around with these wet tennis shoes that Wyatt was playing with. Oh, and then I also picked up these. These are technically not for me. These are for my brother. Um, John and my brother are obsessed with these flannel lined pants. Um, Eddie Bauer sells them. They're just like the insides have flannel in them. And my brother has been wearing his pair because they're $80 pants. My brother has been wearing his pair for like the past three years, every winter, every single day. They are originally this color, but now his look like they're white because they're so bleached out from so much wear. John just got a new pair, two new pairs for Christmas, so he was set. So these were actually on clearance for, um, I think they were on clearance for a certain amount, and then they were also an extra 30%. And once you know it, one of the last pairs was in my brother's size, and his birthday is coming up, so I got these for $40 instead of 80 So I'm really excited to give them to him because he's been wearing his to like to the bone so I'm gonna give them to him on Friday which I'm excited about. I also forgot to mention these water bottles that we picked up as you guys know if you've been following me since last summer ooh, the lighting's bad if you've been following me since last summer we really like these Nalgene bottles they are just awesome they're the they're not leak proof like if you shake them or drop them like little driplets come out but for the most part they're leak proof um, we have like a green one and a blue one and now that Kaya is drinking out of these cups We wanted to get more of them So we got a pink one that came with elephants on it because that's like her animal elephants and ladybugs are her like thing And then why it picked out this blue one that has like a squid on it So we got those as well from REI. They were $8.90 for I think each for one But he's like tossed these things. He we've like they're easy to wash. They don't break They're just really good just like all around cups. So we got two of those so that is it. That is what yeah, we I mean, bought. nothing really exciting. I went, we were shopping at the mall, and John's like, go ahead, buy whatever you want. Because, like, one of my Christmas gifts from him was supposed to be, like, a mini shopping trip without any guilt attached to it. And I just, I almost broke down at the mall because I couldn't, I just, I was unhappy with, like, all the clothes that I saw. I just couldn't find anything that, like, fit me right. And I just got frustrated, and I was like, forget it. I don't need any clothes. Let me just go buy some nail polish, and let's call it a day. So that's what I did. I'm really excited because all the kids got shoes for next year. Um, and I found those pants for my brother, and I got chocolate. Can't go wrong with buying chocolate. And I got nail polish. And I'm really excited because I also wanted to really try the Balm and Lush products. So those are things that, like... I've been looking forward to trying and now finally can. So I got to go put away laundry and get the kids to bed. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye. Bye.